football team. Um, you could tell guys were flying around, having fun, um, and being competitive. Uh, you know, and we just, you know, along with doing that, we, you know, the defense is playing stuff that, you know, coverages and things that, you know, we have struggled with, and they they were doing things that they were kind of struggling with as well. So we were, you know, on top of everything, we were working on what we what we need to work on as well and getting better. So. Um, you know, I truly felt our, our team make a make a big jump in our growth uh, last week, and um, you know that's that's really important. You know, in times of you know, like what Coach said, in, in times of adversity, that's when you really um, got to buckle down and and focus on the little details of things and and just trust the process. I'm, I think that's the most important important thing um, in with football life in general. Like whenever adversity strikes, that's uh, when you're truly getting tested and. Um, you know, it's easy when everything's going great to, to do your job every day. Um, but when um, you're kind of backs against the wall and, and struggling and frustrated and all, that, all those things that come along with it, um, that's when your, your character truly gonna, is going to you know, be revealed and you're going to find out a lot about yourself and, and the football team. And I'm, I've been really uh, pleased with our, our growth and, you know, how much we, we have progressed throughout this bye week. How important is the run game going to be, especially just being able to have that uh, play action? Yeah, well, it's 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 really important. Um, you know, the run game is a big part of our offense. You know, we want to be be physical, um, and you know, having success in the run game opens up a lot of stuff for our whole offense. So, uh, it's going to be important that we get that established and, and get in a rhythm. Uh, more importantly than anything, and um, you know, I just have a have a lot of uh, you know belief in our guys up front and our backs. Um, you know, they just got, got to do, do their job, and mm-hmm. I got to focus on doing my job and getting the ball and. Um, just doing my part, and you know the rest. Uh, you know I got all the belief in the world in those guys that um, they'll 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 do their job and we'll uh, we'll be successful in that. Obviously facing Alex again this week. What did you notice in your time with him um, that might kind of challenge your your guys' defense this week when he's on the field? Uh, he's he's an athletic guy. He's athletic. He can run pretty well, extend plays, um, and you know he he's a gamer as well. So uh, I think our you know. Our defense will, will be ready for that. You know, when we face some um, some pretty pretty you know talented quarterbacks in the past couple of weeks. Um, so you know, I think he's got to be prepared for his legs and what he can do um, if players break down or just design runs as well. So I mean, our defense <coughs> has been going against them for you know a while. So um, I think they know what to expect and you know we'll be ready for it. So. As a player, what is it like to see a guy like you know like Zuber at Mississippi State or Alex this weekend on the other sideline? Um, it's definitely interesting, um, you know, and I've, I've talked to both of them throughout this season. Um, Alex and I exchanged uh, some text messages um, just talking about football, talking about everything. Um, and, you know, it definitely is, is different. But, um, you know, at the same time, like, we all understand where, where we're at and, um, you know, and the positions that we're in and, and whatnot. And it's... Just no, you know, hurt feelings or anything like that. It's it's all love from from us and with them, and um, you know, it's just one of them, you know, them to be successful. Honestly, from from my perspective, I want them to be successful, be happy, and for everything to work out for them. Um, you know, from being, you know, past teammates and you know, seeing, you know, you go through, you know, workouts and you know, all that the grinding and all that kind of stuff with with someone. It's just. You want people to be successful. You know, there's there's no grudges or anything like that at all. So uh, it's all it's all you know clear air, and um, you know we're all on the same page. It's just we're gonna go out and compete. I think that's the the main thing. That even with when we were going to the game with Zub, is um, just it's just another game. You know, we're just gonna go out there and um, compete and uh, do our best, and it'll be a lot of fun. TCU is among the nation's leaders in third down defense. When you see them on, on tape, what makes it them so tough, how important will it be to be able to convert third downs? Yeah, well, you can tell uh, that they're really, really good um, schematically. Uh, they don't do a lot of just crazy stuff, but they're very good at what they do. Uh, they're very well coached. Um, their secondary has a lot of experience. Um, their D-line gets a lot of, you know, pass rush. They, um, you know, just from top to bottom, they do a lot of great things. And it's going to be important for us to um, be successful on, on third down. and. A lot, of, a lot of that comes with you know us being successful on first and second to where we're not in third and long and we're in third and manageable and third and short and all those types of things to where that makes our job a little easier. Um, you know, we get in third and long situations, it's going to be tough. So 
Um, <laughs> we, we got to be good on first and second down, you know, to make that really easier for us. Kind of the general perception of a TCU defense might be a little bit undersized, fast, and attacking. Like, is that an accurate description of them, or would you describe them differently if you were going to do it? Yeah, I mean, their their linebackers um, <laughs> um, are not you know huge, but they're they're fast. Um, their their nickel um, is, I would say, uh, you know, kind of a he's I mean he's, he's a true like hybrid guy. I mean, mm -hmm. he can play coverage really well. He can get in the box, but he's not the biggest guy in the world, but um, but no, they all, they're all great players and they play fast for sure. Um, and their D line is big and play physical. So, um, I would say that's a pretty accurate description, um, that they want to play fast and, and play hard and, um, and play physical. So, uh, I would say that's pretty accurate. You could tell over the uh, last week after that, that Baylor game, that this team, a lot of you guys were really disappointed in the way the last couple weeks have gone. So. Mm -hmm. In this being game week now, how fired up have you, have you seen the guys to get back to the field? Yeah, um, you know, well, I think this bye week kind of came in a good time for us. Uh, you know, coming off of uh, of two uh, losses like that, being able to have you know time to, to truly focus on the things we need to work on. Um, you know, those kind of got exploited in those, those last two weeks and those losses are things that we kind of have been struggling with or the things that we need to get better at. So it gave us a week to to really. Um, focus on those things and and kind of just rally rally together, you know, because um, You know you lose anytime you lose it's frustrating, you know, and it's tough And we got a lot of competitive guys on this football team that that want to win um, so it was important that you know, we got everybody together and and You know the season's not over There's There's still a lot left a lot, a lot, a lot of football to be played and um, we have some uh, great opportunities ahead of us, and we just got to capitalize on, on those things and just play one play at a time and one game at a time and not look ahead at things. Is there any moment in the past couple of weeks where the team, you felt like, oh, these guys, we're going to be fine? Is there um, a moment that you can look back on and think that, uh, like, we're, we're going to make our way through this? Oh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say there's anything thing specifically um, that I remember, but I just know um, from being around this team and um, – you know, through through all that we've been through since the day that Coach Klein has gotten here, that uh, everybody's on board, everybody's on ship, and they, we we trust our coaches, we trust Coach Kleiman, uh, we trust one another. You know, it just nobody said this was going to be easy. You know, it's uh, we had that three and zero start, and everybody, you know, it was it was pretty smooth sailing. Didn't really face a lot of adversity in those those first three weeks, and um, then we got to get smacked in the mouth a little bit uh, two weeks straight. So. It was kind of a, a reality check for, for the most of us, and just kind of just reminding us that you know this this is a process, you know, and it's um, important that we just trust that and trust our coaches and trust in one another and continue to play for the guy next to you. And I think that's uh, that's a big emphasis for our football team this week is just get back to just playing one play at a time, playing for another, and having fun while we do it. Skyler, have you noticed like a huge difference, like? In terms of deep, what defense play you guys when you know Malik's not out there, just kind of knowing that hey, that's one mm -hmm. big threat they've got that he's we don't even account for because he's yeah. on the field right now. Uh, yeah, well, people uh, are not really threatened um, deep um, by us uh, whenever he's he's not out there, but. Uh, you know, I think our our receivers played played mm -hmm. a really good game. I thought versus Baylor, um, they they came up and played man coverage versus versus us, which we struggled against in um, the Oklahoma State game, and made some great catches. Dalton Schoen played a great game and um, made a great catch for me on a fade route. Uh, yeah, this is important that we we take some shots down the field and and complete some balls to, to kind of soften up some of the, the coverage on us. Because if people are just coming up and pressing us and we can't, you know convert on that it's going to be it's going to be tough you know it's, it's tough on anybody so uh you know i've got a lot of belief in those guys and they're continuing we're all getting better you know it's a process and um you know we've been working on uh facing man um, a lot um and and all that type of stuff and you know i i believe in those guys with with everything i got you know it's just it's my job to i gotta do my job and do my part just get in the ball um, make the correct reads be on time um, and just trust those guys that um, they're going to be there in that spot because a lot of the time on man coverage I mean you're you're anticipating that there's going to be a spot there before it really is I mean there's a lot of times in that Baylor game where I'm throwing a, a, a hitch route where my guy's back is to, to me James Gilbert. defenders I have no idea what's going to happen you're throwing to the spot I'm trusting yeah. the spot that he's going to be there so 
Um, you know, that's, that's, that's the main thing. I just got to focus on doing my part, doing my job. Um, and I know those guys will, will do this. That's like in my weekend, four weeks. Are you a fan of that? Do you like having that many bye weeks in that period of time? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's that's stuff that we can't really control. I thought, um, you know, just looking back that maybe – wish we didn't have one after the Mississippi State game because um, we had a lot of momentum going but I feel like this, this one just came at a good time um, you know to have uh, you know a time to little regroup and get back on track with things but um, I definitely think that the two bye weeks are beneficial and good for our football team as far as just health wise and getting getting healthy and kind of having a, a chance to really you know hit the reset button and, and get ready to go but um, you know we're we're well aware that we got a Seven game stretch here, and we're gonna, you know, the adversity is, is, is still gonna be there sometimes, you know. So we got to be ready for that, and just uh, just be tough. I think both uh, mentally and physically, that's gonna be the biggest factor for us uh, in this seven game um, stretch we have ahead of, ahead of us. How is 